Recently, the Air Assault rotorcraft appeared on CCTV again. The aircraft was nicknamed, Three Jumpers in the Air, by netizens. It can carry multiple anti-tank missiles under the fuselage, which has unique practical value. At that time, when China's Falcon two-seat rotorcraft was unveiled, it also attracted the attention of foreign media. It can be seen that the rotorcraft also has its unique advantages. Otherwise, the army will not develop and participate in the 70th military parade. The military parade also means the army affirmation of it. The Falcon rotorcraft is very light, just like a motorcycle. The power of the two-seat type uses a 120-horsepower piston engine. Now the Falcon rotorcraft has an upgraded version, and a three-seat type has appeared. It uses a 135-horsepower piston engine. Falcon rotorcraft can carry anti-tank missiles. The most important thing is that it can carry four laser semi-guided anti-tank missiles. It can also carry some light combat weapons and ammunition. The maximum carrying capacity is 250 kilograms, and in order to be able to use missiles, it is also equipped with a series of weapon systems, including related optoelectric equipment with precision strike capability. The Flying Three Jumpers is a kind of aircraft between an airplane and a helicopter. Gyroplanes have rotors on top of the fuselage and a propeller at the rear to provide thrust. The top rotor has no power unlike a helicopter, but forward moving power is from the thrust of the rear propeller. As the engine starts, the rear propeller generates thrust, which pushes the rotorcraft to accelerate and roll on the runway. At this time, the airflow will also accelerate and flow through the top rotor, pushing it to rotate at a high speed, and at the same time generating upward rotor force, providing enough lift for the rotorcraft to take off. The power source of the rotorcraft is the rear propeller, and the lift is generated by airflow dynamics through the unpowered rotor blades. Once the engine is stopped in the air, the rotorcraft that has lost thrust can still maintain forward flight and gradually reduce the speed and altitude under the action of inertia. During the fall, the reverse flow of air can still keep the rotor spinning and continue to provide lift. Therefore, with proper control, the rotorcraft can land smoothly without power. The maximum range is 600 kilometers, and at the same time, it can stay in the air for four hours, and the maximum speed is 185 kilometers per hour. That says after the Falcon rotorcraft forms a fleet, it will be a powerful unique combat force. The runway required by the Falcon gyrocopter is very short, only 20 meters, and the quality of the runway surface is not needed to be high, only ordinary lawns are needed. In combat, it can take off in many places in a rough condition. The safety of this gyrocopter is very high. Once there is a power failure or simply loses power, under the action of the rotor inertia, it can descend gradually and slowly, so as to ensure the safety of landing. The rotorcraft is particularly sensitive to the inclination of the rotor, and the control is very clumsy. In order to improve the controllability, a large area of the tail must be used, which will increase the sensitivity to crosswinds and cause a vicious circle. In addition, the rotorcraft is very sensitive to weight and cannot be overloaded. It is sort of an ultra-light aircraft. The lighter the manned aircraft, the less safe. It cannot fly high, mostly fly at ultra-low altitude. However, gyrocopter has many advantages, such as small size, the maximum takeoff weight is only 560 kilograms, and small, the flight altitude is low, and the flight noise is also low. It is not easy to be found by radar. The maintenance is relatively simple and convenient, and the cost is also low. The training even for professional pilots is relatively easy. It only takes two days to learn how to fly. Its landing is like a paraglider, which is indeed an excellent means of concealed deployment of troops, great help to the secret raid of the special forces. The so-called special operations naturally use extraordinary means to surprise the enemy. Since its formal establishment, the Army Special Forces has been trying to use various modern tools to increase the means of special operations. Of course, there are also some shortcomings. Its carrying capacity is limited, and it can only carry two paratroopers and side weapons at a time. In some special combat situations, 
the Falcon rotorcraft may be more suitable than helicopters to carry out the task of transporting small-scale special forces, which is why the Chinese army will purchase it. However, one can't exaggerate it infinitely, and overvalue it with a series of exaggerated prestige such as, special warfare weapon, and, special warfare artifact. In the future, the Z-20 special warfare version modified on the basis of the Z-20 general purpose helicopter will be the best low-altitude assault transport vehicle for the Chinese special forces.